In December 2025, a small group of engineers quietly achieved something that may redefine the future of artificial intelligence hardware. Working alongside Skywater Technology, the largest exclusively US-based Pure Play semiconductor foundry, they built the first fully monolithic three-dimensional computer chip ever manufactured inside a commercial US semiconductor facility. And more importantly, they proved that it works. This was not a conceptual demonstration. It was not a lab-only experiment. It was real silicon, delivering real, measurable performance gains. And this breakthrough had nothing to do with squeezing transistors smaller or pushing clock speeds higher. Instead, it changed the physical structure of a chip itself, opening an entirely new path forward for AI computing. The work was led by researchers from Stanford University, Carnegie Mellon University, the University of Pennsylvania, and the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in collaboration with Skywater Technology. The results were formally presented at the 71st annual IEE International Electron Devices Meeting, one of the most respected conferences in the semiconductor world. That detail matters because this wasn't speculation or early stage hype. It was peer reviewed, rigorously measured and demonstrated using silicon produced inside a real commercial fabrication facility. What makes this achievement historic is not simply that the chip is three dimensional, but how it was built. Instead of fabricating separate chips and stacking them together, the researchers constructed each layer directly on top of the previous one, inside a single continuous manufacturing process. Memory and computation were integrated vertically at extremely high density, connected by record-setting numbers of ultra-fine vertical interconnects. This approach, known as monolithic 3D integration, had existed in theory for years, but until now had never demonstrated clear performance gains while also being manufacturable inside a commercial foundry. To understand why this matters, it helps to look at how AI hardware is built today. The most powerful AI systems in the world rely on accelerators from companies like NVIDIA and AMD, as well as custom silicon from cloud providers such as Google, Amazon and Microsoft. These chips are incredibly powerful, but they all share one fundamental assumption, they are flat. Even advanced designs using chiplets, stacked memory and complex packaging still rely on two-dimensional logic at their core, with memory sitting nearby rather than truly integrated. That design has worked, but it comes with trade-offs that are becoming increasingly difficult to ignore. Modern AI accelerators move enormous amounts of data between memory and compute units, often consuming more energy moving information than performing computation itself. As AI models scale, this imbalance grows worse. Compute units become faster, but increasingly sit idle while waiting for data. Engineers have a name for this limitation, the memory wall. It's the point where faster computation no longer translates into real performance gains because data simply can't move fast enough. For decades, the semiconductor industry pushed that wall back by shrinking transistors. That strategy fueled the rise of Intel, TSMC and Samsung as process leaders. But today, transistor scaling is approaching both physical and economic limits, a reality even the most advanced foundries now openly acknowledge. This is where monolithic 3D integration diverges from the industry's dominant path. Instead of chasing smaller nodes or relying on wider memory buses and more complex packaging, it changes the geometry of computation itself. Rather than spreading logic and memory across a flat surface, it builds upward, integrating them vertically at extreme density. Most commercial 3D approaches today rely on stacking. High bandwidth memory, for example, stacks memory chips on top of logic chips using through silicon wires. This improves bandwidth, but data still funnels through a relatively small number of vertical connections, creating new bottlenecks even as others are relieved. Monolithic 3D integration goes much further. Instead of stacking finished chips, each layer is fabricated directly on top of the previous one. Memory and computation are interwoven vertically, connected by thousands of ultra-fine interconnects. Data moves between layers over distances measured in microns rather than millimeters. Tathagata Sramani, assistant professor at Carnegie Mellon University and senior author of the paper, described it using a physical analogy. 
By integrating memory and computation vertically, the chip can move far more information far more quickly. Like a high-rise building, with many elevator banks instead of a single staircase. One researcher referred to it as the Manhattan of computing, where building upward enables vastly more activity in the same footprint. This vertical structure dramatically shortens data travel distances. Thousands of vertical connections operate in parallel, acting like high-speed elevators for information. The result is higher bandwidth, lower latency, and a major reduction in energy spent moving data, now one of the largest power costs in AI systems. An important but often overlooked aspect of this work is the type of device integration it enables. Modern monolithic 3D research increasingly uses heterogeneous integration, where different layers use different device technologies optimized for their role. Memory layers can be built using resistive RAM, or RRM, a non-volatile memory that stores information by changing resistance rather than charge. RRM is well suited for vertical integration because it can be fabricated at relatively low temperatures and placed directly above logic layers. Similarly, advanced logic layers increasingly explore transistor technologies beyond traditional silicon CMOS, including carbon, Nanotube field effect transistors, CNT FTEs, offer strong potential advantages in energy efficiency and are compatible with low temperature fabrication, making them ideal for upper layers in vertical stacks. Low temperature processing is the critical enabler here. Traditional chip manufacturing relies on high temperatures that would destroy layers beneath them. Monolithic 3D integration only works because memory and logic can be fabricated at temperatures low enough to preserve existing circuitry. This is not a minor detail. It is the foundation that makes dense vertical integration possible. What makes this breakthrough especially significant is that it wasn't confined to an academic clean room. Translating advanced research into something a commercial foundry can build is notoriously difficult. Mark Nelson, Vice President of Technology Development Operations at Skywater Technology and co-author of the study, emphasised that this work proves advanced 3D architectures are not just theoretical, they can be manufactured domestically at scale using real infrastructure. All fabrication was completed at Skywater's Bloomington, Minnesota foundry. The chips were tested using automated electrical characterization systems across entire wafers, ensuring consistency and reliability. The results confirmed that the architecture worked as intended, with early prototypes already outperforming comparable two-dimensional chips by roughly four times. Simulations of future designs reveal even more potential. As additional memory and compute layers are stacked vertically, performance scales rapidly. Designs with more tiers showed up to 12-fold improvements on real AI workloads, including tasks derived from Meta's Llama model. These are memory-intensive workloads representative of modern AI, not artificial benchmarks. Energy efficiency may be the most important implication. By dramatically shortening data paths and enabling massive parallel vertical communication, monolithic 3D architectures reduce energy per operation while increasing throughput. The researchers estimate this approach opens a realistic path to 100 to 1,000 fold improvements in energy delay product, a metric balancing performance and power. Subhasish Mitra professor at Stanford University and principal investigator, framed the breakthrough in terms of future demand. He noted that innovations like this are how the industry reaches the thousand-fold performance improvements future AI systems will require. This isn't just about accelerating today's models, it's about making future AI physically possible. The implications extend beyond performance. By proving monolithic 3D chips can be built inside a US commercial foundry, the project establishes a blueprint for domestic hardware leadership. If advanced 3D chips can be manufactured locally, the United States can innovate faster and shape the future of AI hardware rather than reacting to it. That's strategic. Importance is reflected in the funding. 
Support came from DARPA, the US Department of Energy, the National Science Foundation, Samsung, the Department of Defense's Microelectronics Commons AI Hardware Hub, and several major research institutions, organizations that invest in foundational capability, not incremental gains. The researchers remain realistic. This does not make NVIDIA or AMD obsolete overnight. Manufacturing complexity, design tools and software ecosystems take time to evolve. But what has changed is the trajectory. For decades, progress relied on shrinking transistors. That path is slowing. Vertical integration introduces a new scaling dimension, and now it has been proven with working silicon. Most people will never see this chip. There will be no consumer launch or keynote, but years from now, when AI systems are faster, more efficient, and less constrained by power and memory limits, this moment will stand out in hindsight. When the industry reached the walls of memory, energy, and miniaturization, the solution wasn't to push harder in the same direction. It was to change the shape of computing itself. So here's the real question. Do you think the future of AI hardware will still belong to flat GPUs from NVIDIA? Or does vertical monolithic 3D integration change the game entirely? Let me know your take in the comments. And if you want the real story behind the world's fastest moving AI and tech breakthroughs, make sure to like and subscribe to Evolving AI for daily coverage.